And of course, is our top talker today, the Rock Hall induction ceremonies. And you know, ce celebrities are already making their way into Cleveland for the inductions. Yes, they are. And this is always obviously a big week, uh, particularly because we kind of had to pass on that last year. Late this afternoon, the Rock Hall unveiled its 2021 inductee signature panel with special guests from the class, including LL Cool J. It happens each year and is a way to honor the inductee exhibit. Our resident rocker, Monica Robbins, live now at the Rock Hall of Fame. Yep, right. Monica, you know, you got to look at this year's exhibit, and they always change little pieces, parts of it, and how they go about it. What's special about this year's version? Well, obviously, what's what's exciting to me is that there are a lot of women in this class, so that's one thing. But you know what? Who better to show us the exhibit than the Rock Hall CEO, Greg Harris? Take a look. From Tina Turner to the Go Go's. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ho. From Jay Z to the Foo Fighters. There really is something for everyone in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's 2021 class of inductees. This year we have an incredible induction class. It is the most diverse class we've ever had. Artifacts from all inductees are on display now at a brand new exhibit at the Rock Hall. It opened this past week. Rock Hall CEO Greg Harris showed us around and explained how these inductees left their marks on music. Kraftwerk, an incredible band from Germany, our first German band inducted in the Rock Hall, right next to LL Cool J, you know, one of the founders of hip hop. And then Carol King, incredible songwriter in the Brill Building in New York. And next to Carol King, we have the Go-Go's. You know, punk, power pop, um, they inspired so many young women to pick up guitars and form bands. And then you keep going, right next to them is Gil Scott Heron, like um, pioneer of the spoken word. And then Randy Rhodes, just a guitar shredder um, that really pioneered uh, heavy metal guitar, uh, made incredible records with Ozzy Osbourne. And then, you know, Warren, Ohio's own Dave Grohl fronting the Foo Fighters, an incredible band from this era. Billy Preston, the fifth Beatle, uh, playing keyboards on Get Back. Todd Rundgren, uh, Cleveland's, uh, one of Cleveland's favorite artists. He's from Philadelphia originally, but Cleveland became his second home. Charlie Patton, one of the godfathers of the blues, right there with Robert Johnson. And um, that brings us the Clarence Avant, who was a, a pioneering um, African-American music executive that really helped uh, grow the music business uh, in America. And of course, none other than Tina Turner. The class of 12 will join an elite group of 352 bands, musicians, music producers, and others already enshrined in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They and their music will be showcased in a star-studded event at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, where other musical legends will welcome them to take their place in music history. Taylor Swift's going to come up and induct Carol King. Paul McCartney, and probably play together, right? Paul McCartney's going to induct the Foo Fighters. And it's just that type of, uh, that level of star power and connection is what makes the induction special. Putting Cleveland in the global rock and roll spotlight once again. And of course, that's exactly where Cleveland belongs because we are the birthplace of rock and roll. And of course, Angela Bassett coming to in induct uh, Tina Turner. Christina Aguilera is going to be singing her songs. I mean, this is going to be an incredible night. And what's more incredible are the surprises. You never know who's going to show up. I've had some tips, but I've been sworn to secrecy, so I'm not allowed to say. But let me say, Bets, uh, I'm so happy we're going to have a dry night, so your sequin pants and fuzzy sweater won't get wet. <laughs> but it's going to be a really, really, really good night. <laughs> She was bragging about her sequins pants before I'm the so show. That's a true story. I'm so excited about these sequin pants. Yeah, I can't wait to I, see a picture. They're so cute. <laughs> this will be the first time I actually get to go to an induction ceremony. Wow. I, I, for the first time, I don't have a gig on a Saturday. I got one tonight, but I don't have a gig uh, tomorrow night. So for the first time mm. in, since 2009, since I've been covering this red carpet event, wow. first time I get to go to the induction ceremony. I'm very excited. And of course, I get to go with my girl, Betsy Kling. So there. I know. Well, Enjoy. I feel sorry for anybody sitting around us because half of the songs that play, I'll either be <laughs> singing along, which you don't want happening, 
anything, or I'm just going to drop out, lose my mind with some of those songs. So yeah. you'll you'll probably know where we I'm, are. <laughs> I'm I'm really going to have to teach you how to play a better air guitar, though. I'm just saying. <laughs> I've seen you. No one better I've to seen teach. You. No so one better to teach, Monica. You can do it. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, Monica, <laughs> thank you. We appreciate it.